Hello and welcome to Pentagor's Poetry Readings. Uh, right now we're going to read a poem I wrote called That Special Place. And I'm sure we all have that special place that we like to go when we want to feel calm and at peace. And my special place was a little community where I was raised in the South. And so this poem is dedicated to that special place. That Special Place by Kevin Penninger. We all harbor within that special place, filled with nostalgic rainbows of emotion, consume thoughts of spiritual grace, blissfully setting our hearts into motion. We all have such a place of reflection, if only we would stop for an occasion to make time for personal redirection in order to revisit our heartfelt location. To find my special place, I return to birth, where memories run deep as an abyss, where blessings resound with limitless girth, and my soul fills with calming bliss. A place in my heart once called home, void of the common day complexities, where neighbors would casually roam, seeking only the bare necessities. A place where farmers pray for rain, and general store akin to the old west amidst flowing waves of cotton or grain patiently awaiting a season's harvest a miniature shack for letters and mail miss rosie's cheerful greeting to recall she made mental notes of every tale to share local news with one and all the little white church stands tall those it blessed who can count too numerous to name them all, but surely God bless this fount. Summer's end brings buses of yellow for a new school year's ten-mile trot. Cotton gin engines roar and bellow while trailers of white roll into the lot. On Fridays, local communities unite, putting life's troubles and toils at bay. A little history written on that night as teams and bands begin to play. The ginning season comes to slumber. My pop returns to mills and squares. A grueling grind of shaping lumber in order to create tables and chairs. Finally, a break from our daily labors. We rise earlier than usual this morning to cover our bodies in multiple layers to heed my dad's Christmas warning. Winter winds upon the fading green introduce wild game of deer and duck. The locals clamor to woods and stream to spawn new tales of sport and luck. Winter gives way to spring scenery. The farmers return from hibernation. Fields are quilted with green, fresh greenery while wildlife continues fresh migration. Soon spring reapers work dawn to dark breaking just enough for a noon meal. The store now with little room to park, with Mr. Pat's sandwiches, such a deal. When cycle of school reaches an end, tis a sign of sweet strawberries beckon. With fish fries just around the bend, sweet tea and cold melons, I reckon. I must mention one final entry, home gardens of toils and blisters fresh produce to fill the pantry, nurtured by wives and their misters. Yes, I visit this place more often than not, many times if only through imagination. My very special place never forgot. May yours hold as much fascination. May yours be as blessed a creation. Thank you. Sorry for that pause there. I had to slow down and speed it up. So anyway, there was a little pause in the middle. Have a good day.